Hey, Scrapper Names fans, how are we all? Back with another mixed media, well, not mixed media, sorry, Arty Fun Friday video. And I'm actually doing a Project Life mixed media spread here. So I am using, whoop, zooming in out. I'm actually doing my um, 2018 um, title page here. So I am using some of the, oh, the Heidi Swap Color Magic cards, I think they're called. Oh, here you go. Yeah, kind of saw them. Zipped in, zipped out, blah, blah, blah. Um, so they're like a watercolour kind of card and you, as you can see, sort of splash some watercolour paint type things over them and yeah, you get that real watery colour effect, I guess. So what I've done there is used some of the Colour Blast Mica Powder in a purpley colour, like it's a glittery, powder, glittery form of the powder. Um, watered it down a little bit. I've actually had it sitting in my in a jar on my desk for a few weeks now actually. I just keep adding a bit of water to it and just keep using it and it seems to work. Anyway, it looks really good in, pers in, in person, I guess you could say, um, as opposed to on camera, you can really see the glitter. So I've painted it um, and I've cut a fair bit out because this did take a fair while. Um, just with a bit of drying time and you know getting the right sort of feel with things. Um, so as you can see there, I did dry it off a little bit using some paper towel um, and whatnot. And what I'm doing here is I wanted a background to it. Um, the white background of the paper here, which is a Kitaholic kit paper, um, or came in a Kitaholic kit, sorry, um, that one at the top there, um, just didn't suit, it was too white. Even though it's got the sort of sporadic paper, it was too sporadic of the patterns. It didn't come through properly enough for me. Um, so what I'm actually using is another one of the um, cards that came in. I think it comes in that Colour Magic one or something else like it. Um, like a watercolour card um, that was sprayed. It says just for fun at the bottom with the just for fun word cut out. And then it had this bit at the top. Anyway, and it had the spray mist as you can see just splattered at the top and it gives a really cool effect and couldn't get it again if I tried so I decided to use it as the backing to the words because I mean like why not I didn't think I'd use the whole sort of piece like card piece in somewhere so I really liked the way it looked it really contrasted well with the glittery purple and so I just went with it I mean why not so I was really digging through my mixed media supply drawer here so, and I was really trying to use some of these supplies up. They have been sitting in my drawer since I decided to delve into the mixed media and this is where I wanted to start with the water colouring and so this is going back two-ish years and they've barely been touched. So it's time to get touched. Oh, that sounded a little wrong, didn't it? I'm talking about the, I'm talking about the supplies. Um, so yes, uh, time to stop being a bit afraid to use them and just got them out and give them a go. And I thought this was perfect. Um, that I hadn't done a title page for 2018. I wanted to use up some of my April Kitaholic kit, which was the Case of the Blas, is it Pink Fresh Studio? I want to say it is. Pretty certain it is. I'm going to say it is. Pink Fresh Studio, it's perfect for your family, you know, documenting your family stuff. So the bits and pieces I had left over, as you can see there, and it, the photo actually, <laughs> funny story this, and I think I cut it out. I don't actually think I leave it in. I do try and rip the photo back up and it was so well stuck that, you know, again, couldn't have happened if I tried. Um, so it said documenting the messy stuff that you can sort of see to the right of the photo there. I really wanted that. I really wanted to see that. And it didn't work so well. But anyway, whatever. But my point being is that kit came with that collection and it had lots of those sorts of things. It's your kind of imperfect, perfect moments with your family stuff. So that's why I thought I'm going to use those up to put in my 2018 album title page I realized I hadn't done it it was on my to to do scrappy list so yeah so I just tied it all together with doing a bit of a mixed media kind of arty kind of thing so yeah that's what I'm doing um, and not sure why I decided to use the front oh, I kind of thought it needed something 
this, yeah, I sort of play around with some ephemera pieces here, sort of, I don't know, it needed a little something something, so I put the So Happy frame, was just in the mood to use a frame, can't really tell you why, <laughs> as you do, this was actually National Scrapbooking Day, or International Scrapbooking Day, so this is going back oh, a Saturday ago, two Saturdays ago, um, and I think I was a bit cranky because I hadn't quite got the day I really wanted to have, which was get everything done in the morning and get back home and sit down and just scrub the afternoon away, which was all my plans and it just didn't happen. And yep, um, I'd had a few things in mind that I wanted to get done and ticked off my list and this was one of them and it just, yep. So yes, I was semi starting to get in the mood and yeah, so this took a little bit. This layout actually took me a few hours to eventually get done because I had to stop start constantly coming back and forth. So yes. So I do mix it up between doing, um, as you'll see here, I do that top right is just your normal average 4x6, nothing fancy, nothing mixed media about it. Um, and the bottom left I think is the same. Um, and yeah, I sort of go between balancing out between sort of not all just mixed media and yeah. So this is my little Kmart box that has all my mists in it as well as my oxides so I'm just playing around as to what colors I'm going to mix and match with so I am Gemini by nature can't make a decision to save my life so I did cut a fair chunk of wasting time trying to figure it out so these little canvasy kind of pieces were also in that Heidi swap pack not sure how many of you might have seen them. They were at Spotlight again about two or so years ago. How old they actually are, couldn't tell you. So how new they might have been when I got them, don't know. Um, but yes, so um, it was all sort of curled up. So it made it really tricky to use spray. So I think what I used, I think I used the greeny colored shimmer, not shimmer spray, the Heidi Swap color shine on it. And then I'm just using a Distress Stain, I think it is, the yellow stain there. Now, at first I wasn't too sure, but I went, so my theory here, and I do it with all four of them, so the four little three by four pockets here, done. I backed them onto some plain sort of pattern paper, so the white pattern paper with some of those random sort of flecks of color. So the background piece is either a dark color and then the number is light or dark. So see the light, it's a light with a dark piece, if that makes sense. So they sort of contrast against each other. Um, but you won't have the same next to it, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So for example, the last one, the heart, which was the background, was the dark greeny color. So this one that's sitting next to it will be a lighter color, this background piece see here. I'm gonna use an orangey color um, so that they sort of contrast against each other that way. It was just a design thing I wanted to do. There's no tip there or anything. I just thought it contrasted better as opposed to having all dark and then all light. Um, I just thought it just balanced out better, more eye-catching. And yeah, that was just how I was rolling with it, to be honest. Now, I have a feeling when I did these, it was later in the evening. So I sort of sat down and got about an hour's worth <laughs> My plan to have at least four to six hours in the afternoon turned into may maybe a maximum of about an hour. And then I managed to sit down for about three, three and a half hours late, later in the evening of the day, the Saturday night to get some more scrapbooking done. So it wasn't at all what I planned. So I had big plans. So moral of the story, never make scrapbooking plans or at least don't make them at your own house, make them somewhere else so that you know you can't be distracted or disturbed by family needs and wants. Um, but yes, anyway, I got a little bit done. So I hope everyone else had an enjoyable uh, scrapbooking day, international, national, whatever scrapbooking day. Um, I know there was lots going on. I was managing to keep up with stuff that was going on, on online um, in lots of the different pages and stuff like that. And it was so awesome to watch. So yeah, it was um, such a cool day. It's such an awesome day. I love being more a part of it this year than I think I was last year. So it was really cool.
Now, what I'm doing here is, as you can see, I'm still on that second card, actually. So I've just, and it was literally a scrap piece, and I'm just putting another bit of white of that pattern paper across the backing of that favorite. Again, it just looked bare. I wasn't putting any, because it was the title page, it wasn't having another spread put behind it. So there was no photos, there was another piece of cardstock or pattern paper behind going in there, you know. Um, so it needed something. I then decided it needed some outlining. Uh, so as you can see, just got my little Sharpie, which I find is really, is much thinner than my, what have I got here? Oh look, I just discovered that on my pen here, it tells me how much ink I've got left. Ha! I just found that. Isn't that really bizarre? Anyway, my Uni Ball Fine Tip Black Pen. Um, it shows, uh, it shows me. Uh, it's thinner. The Sharpie's thinner than that. So that's why I was using that one there. Alright, so I've moved on to the next card. Rambling on. So as you can see, I'm choosing a different color. I go with another purple, sort of a, yeah, it's a bit of a darker purple. Uh, and by the way, I'm just using a, um, uh, what do you call it, like a water brush. So it's got the water in the, the body of the brush and it comes through the tip bit. So that's my random alarm. And it gets a fairly even, I kind of actually, it really did work out quite well. At first I was a bit like, Meh. but when you really look at the page all together, which there should be some close-ups I think at the end, um, there you'll see it all comes together quite okay, I think. Now what am I doing? Oh, distress oxides. I'm loving, like, I mean loving distress oxides. So following the Saturday where we had International Scrap Queen Day, on the Sunday, we actually had Craft Alive, which here in Australia is a craft show that travels around, I think, throughout most parts of Australia. Uh, we have it come to Canberra each year, and I've been going each year for the last few years, I think. Um, and this year, I got to go with a bit of a better budget than normal, which was so exciting. Always much more fun when you've got a good budget. Um, and I had in mind that I would stock up on my Distress Oxides because I've only had the two, the pinky colour and a blue, blue colour. Um, so I got a few extras, which if you keep an eye out, you will see them used over the next little while in some upcoming projects, some design team ones, as well as just some, you know, just some kicking about everyday projects as such. Um, but I am loving them. I think they're just fantastic. They're so versatile. Like I just did then. So you see, I, I, I did a sort of roundabout way of doing the packaging technique, just kind of reversed as such. Like I still smooshed the ink onto the package, the plastic packaging, sprayed it with some water, and then I just put the one across it because it was just easier than trying to, you know, get it on the one properly uh, just worked out easier and it, it worked well it still gives a, a semi sort of effect like that um, but I just love them you can use them like that I've used it to do some splattering um, you know do your packaging technique um, using it with a like your little foam ink dobbers and putting them through stencils it's just I really like them now in saying that I haven't I don't use I have never I haven't actually got any of the you know Things or rangings, whatever they are, um, to compare it to. But I do believe that colouring is different. Um, that the oxiding are different types of colour, the vibrancy of them and things are different. I can't compare, so I can't tell you that. Um, but yes, so I love them, so that's my thing. Um, they're my product at the moment, flavour of the, the moment, the time, a few months, whatever. So that was my aim when I went to the Craft Live show, was to get some more of those. I didn't. Now, I've done the same thing with that card just back then. I did the same backing on that cool at the background with the word um, as well, just to give it a bit of um, dimension, what do you call it? Um, just so you can see it, I guess, really. You know what the word is. Uh, same thing with this card. I've done, I sprayed it with some yellow. Um, now, I'm just making sure there's an even coverage there because there's also a mark on it. Um, I'm using, I think I'm using the Color Blast Shimmer Spray. It doesn't give too much of a shimmer, unfortunately. It sort of soaks up a little bit. 
where the shimmer is a little bit lost. Bit of a bugger. But that's okay. It still works. Um, so yeah, and now I'm going to do... Now I sat there for ages. Oh yep, so it is later in the night. I've got my Jimmy Jams on with my lovely bunny dressing gown. I sat there literally for ages going over my water. Look at my poor watercolour palette palette it's it really needs to be replaced i think i should maybe just spoil myself anyway i sat there for ages trying to work out what color i was going to do and i was and i, I knew i was going to go with a darker color and i could not decide what and i kept going back and forth with the brown because you know brown is just not a color i would go for i thought it turned out perfectly and i added some splatters using that um the mica powder from the color blast earlier and again it turned out pretty good i thought i was pretty happy with it so yes so that was those 2018 so obviously 2018 is the numbers i've put in those four three by four pockets in the middle of that project life pocket page projector um now i'm just using another piece of pattern paper which i may have been hoarding and decided not to i thought no i need to use this kit up um and i'm going to create another four by six card i think it's the bottom oh excuse me left hand card left hand side card and those little cutter parts you see there i'm just putting them behind me because i'm going to use those i wanted to use some of those up as well I really like them. I love some of the phrasing on them. As you can see, oh, there you go. I'll just give you a bit more so you can see a bit more of what I'm working with. Now, the life documented is just something that came in a random ephemera stash. Um, but you can tell by what you can see in the pictures of the cut apart and some of the phrases that it really is just your yeah, imperfect, perfect moments. You know, things don't have to be perfect to be a memory. Um, so yes, I loved it. What am I adding here? Oh, that's right. I saw them in the, so that's also the die cut pack I have sitting there. You can just sort of see off camera there to the top right. Um, and I had started to pull some out and I was like, oh, yep. I had found some that I really wanted to pop on some of my other cards there. So that's what I am doing because I mean, you're not finished until you're finished really, are you? to add some extra sticky adhe um, adhesive to the back they weren't sticking very well I think they're a bit old oh yeah it's only Monday and I'm already kind of bugged I think I might be getting sick actually through to the right there all the bits of ephemera that came in the kit from April that included the exclusive printables that come that month in the month's kit as well I just felt that that was a little bit too much empty space so I just popped three as you can see three little bits there just to make a little cluster and then as you can see, a little phrase piece. Oh my goodness, sorry. Oh, and then a bit of a doodly border just to bring it all in. And that's that 4 by 6 piece done. And I, this card's really... So this one, I got a bit tricky with. So I used the cut apart, which you will see. Here. Oh, hang on. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here. I thought I just really liked my idea, I do. So it's another one of those watercolour magic cards. Um, it's got the resist, a, like a resist or something on it with the circles, as you can see. So the paint does not sort of come through onto the circles, which is kind of cool. So 
there you go. And I've again used that purple mica. Now they come out in a different sort of tone of purple, I think. It's a bit darker on this card than what it is on the, the top initial card. Um, which I'm cool with that. It's just a different tone. It, it's the same but different, you know, kind of thing. So what I'm doing here now is the cutter parts at the bottom here. I liked this middle piece and then that was the two side-by-side -side pattern bits um, to sit, as you can see, behind that remember. Now, it says, I think, a little bit of chaos in a bit of love or something like that in that little house piece. And you can kind of just make it out behind the... M I think it is in remember one of the M's in remember or whatever it is um, and it just sits through enough that you can make it out and it just it looks really it's a bit subtle and it looks really cool so I was really happy with it it was just something different I wanted to use the cutter pass piece up um, and this was just another different way of adding a touch to it without actually adding anything to the card itself if that makes without having to sort of add too much to it so I'll play around with some of the ephemera pieces um, and then settle on some, some final touches. Oh, this glue of mine. It seems to always run out. I think my kids are stealing it. <laughs> I'm sure it is. And if any of you children of mine are watching this, because I know sometimes you sneak in, and that's fun if you're watching my YouTube videos, darlings, but stop stealing my glue. <laughs> 